Welcome to Prim Stadium here in Silver Springs. We are delighted that you have joined us for this game between the Silver Springs Wildcats and the Corsicana Tigers. It's going to be an exciting evening here, a little damp and uh, uh, not windy at all, uh, and, and not really all that cool as we uh, get ready for the game. About 56 degrees here uh, at Prim Stadium. Don Julian will be doing your play-by-play -play this evening. Doug Haston videotaping this game for replay on Channel 18. I'm Jim Rogers. We're glad that you're with us. Let's take a look at those starting lineups real quick here, Don. All right, we'll start with the uh, Corsicana Tigers on offense. And guy we've been talking about all week kind of leads everything. The quarterback is uh, Blake Hoffman. You'll be hearing that name a whole lot tonight. Uh, a couple of running backs uh, that are doing quite well. Uh, we've got uh, Dejeon Nathan and also Cannon Moore. Uh, three wide receivers uh, for the uh, Corsicana Tigers, uh, kind of the main guys. Drew Denbo, Gervonta Anderson, and also Zelvin Klein. The tight end when they use one is uh, Ty Nolan. Uh, across the uh, offensive line, left tackle is Manny Zamora. Uh, left guard is Noah Wynn. The center is Juan Andretti. The right guard is uh, Ramiro Ramos. And the right tackle is uh, Kaylion uh, Chambers. Uh, they average 266 uh, across that offensive line. And they're all between like 255 and 280. Uh, they're no, no real huge monsters, but no little guys either. They're a uh, pretty good offensive line. Well, let's check the Wildcats now on defense. Their nose uh, tackle, their nose guard is Ignacio Guerrero, uh, Nacho. Uh, the tackles, uh, defensive tackles, Jose Rodriguez and also Evan Rushing. Inside linebackers, Bryce McQueen, Daniel Marino. Outside linebackers, DQ Pitts and also uh, Kylan Wade. Uh, cornerbacks, Damian Dugan and also uh, Andy Eddins. And the safeties, Landry Tyson and Austin Dodd. Now uh, let's uh, check uh, Corsicana on defense. They base out of a 4-3, but then they really will drop people back, add people in, do all kinds of weird things to give you all these weird looks. Uh, defensive tackles, uh, an all-state guy, uh, Melvin Martin. Uh, look, we'll look for number 31 tonight. Uh, uh, you'll be hearing the name Melvin Martin quite a bit tonight. Jacob Lopez, another defensive tackle. Defensive ends, Courtney Cooper and also Micah Wafer. Uh, middle linebacker is a real good one. His name is Tyler Farmer. And then the uh, uh, strong side linebacker is Ashton Anderson uh, and the uh, weak side linebacker, Eric Dixon. Uh, on the corners, they have uh, Tyvon Holt and also uh, Shamar Smith. And the safeties are Darius Coleman, who had two interceptions in one of their games against Fort Worth Boswell, and also Logan Ponder. So that is the defense for, uh, of course, Canada Tigers. Now the Wildcats on offense, and we'll start uh, go across the line from left tackle Philip Rader. Uh, left guard is Hayden Daniel, the center Ethan Rogers, uh, right guard Jacob Janitas, and the right tackle is uh, Charlie Maddox. Quarterback DeCorian Young is here come the Wildcats uh, out of their run through. A crowd uh, uh, down below us uh, making some noise. Uh, running back uh, Caden Davis in the starting role. Uh, the slot receivers, Austin Dodd and also Chase Haney. And uh, the uh, wide receivers will be Landry Tyson and also Jace Thompson. So that's uh, the uh, uh, depth chart uh, for uh, the uh, Wildcats. On, uh, well, that's the starting lineups for uh, everybody. And so uh, as here comes uh, Corsicana. Corsicana Tigers, and they're in uh, white uniforms. And I'll let Jimmy do the fashion report <laughs> for you. But, but uh, anyway, should be a great ball game. Uh, uh, battle for first place. Uh, what more could you ask for? Well, it certainly is a big game tonight for our first place here in this district. And, uh, of course, Canna will be wearing white uniforms with white helmets. Their numbers will be in, uh, in blue. Uh, and the Wildcats in uh, solid blue uniforms with blue helmets. So it's going to be the whites against the blues here this evening. Uh, as uh, both of these teams, even their drill teams, um, uh, uniforms, the 
Of course, Canada Drill Team, I think we handed those down to them. Uh, looked like some of the uh, uh, Blue Blaze Drill Team uniforms from the past. So uh, quite uh, the evening here as we get ready for this game. There's several other games going on across the district. Of course, this is the game for the number one place in district at this time. Greenville is at Royce City tonight. Ennis is at Forney. And Kaufman at Terrell. North Forney has the night off this evening. So uh, we'll try to keep up with these uh, games as we go through the evening. We're getting ready for the uh, uh, time of prayer. And that's the prayer. We'll get ready for the national anthem. The umbrellas are popping up, Jimmy, too. Yes, they are. And the band getting ready to play the national anthem. Here we go. And that's the Star Spangled Banner as we get ready for our game here this evening at Prim Stadium. We are delighted that we are home this evening with um, rain expected to continue through the evening until about 1 a.m. Um, in the morning. Uh, we will probably have this game uh, over and done well before then, uh, I'm pretty sure. These two teams coming into this game, very strong teams in our district this season, and we're getting ready for the captains to go out in the middle of the field. Captains for the Wildcats, number 51, Michael Arrington, number 17, Connor Bergen, number 19 is uh, Rio Bracera, and number 29 for the Wildcats is uh, Caleb Miles. I got Corsicana if you'd like that. That'd be great. Darius Coleman uh, is a captain, defensive back, uh, also uh, Captain uh, Dejean Nathan, the running back. Uh, the other two captains are Denver Jackson, a linebacker, and Tyler Farmer, that middle linebacker we were talking about, are their captains. And we're getting ready for the coin toss as it's coming up. And they're uh, standing in the middle of the field. Uh, referee's going over a few things. There's the toss of the coin. We'll know in just a few moments. And... Uh, of course, the Canada won the toss and deferred. The Wildcats will make a choice here, and we will be ready to go. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, boy. <clears throat> We're not getting out, guys. Uh, the co uh, coin toss was won by Corsicana. They deferred to the second half. Uh, Wildcats will be receiving the football. And uh, uh, Jim, I'll let Jimmy handle. He's more directionally oriented than I am. And uh, as uh, we get ready uh, for the start of this football game and the kickoff. So Corsicana will uh, be uh, heading uh, right to left across your radio dial. 
our Wildcats will be to our left. They'll be sending Chalk Sims and also uh, Colton Allen back deep to receive the kick. And let's try to get that uh, kicker for Corsicana, and that will uh, be teed up and kicked by uh, John Carlo Perez. He is their main uh, place kicker. And I hope uh, we have restored uh, contact. I think we have. Very good. And here's a kickoff for Corsicana. The guy with some pink shoes. He's right in fashion and puts the foot into it. It's a short kick. It's going to be taken the 23-yard line. Ball was uh, dropped to the ground, but the player dropped down and covered it as that was uh, Chalk Sims. And first down and 10 for the Wildcats uh, right around the 25, or let's see, let's call it the 24-yard line. Looks like uh, where the ball is being marked. So Wildcats will start out in their uh, own 24-yard uh, line with the first offensive series. And this, Coach Owens would rather be on defense. But this is the way we've started several games so far this season. The other team running the toss and deferring. Yes, and last week uh, the first drive was not pretty. Here's uh, DeCorian Young. He's going to fake a pass, and now he's hit, and the ball is loose. There's a scramble for the football back inside the 20-yard line, and uh, the Wildcats did recover it. Boy, uh, uh, might have been DeCorian Young himself maybe came up with the football at the 20, a loss of four, as Young went back to pass, and he was hit uh, by an interior lineman from Corsicana, causing the fumble, and uh, Young got back on it. We may see quite a bit of this, uh, uh, obviously, with uh, the weather here with that wet football. Yeah, it's beginning to rain pretty hard now. So second down and 14, and here's a good running play across the 30, 35, and across the 40-yard line for the Wildcats. That was Caden Davis, and he burst through there through a huge hole right up in the middle of that line there, and a nice play for the Wildcats. First down and 10 at the 40-yard line. Silver Springs Dodge Chrysler Jeep first down. And they look toward the sideline to get the next play from the coaching staff. And to Corey and Young back uh, in the shotgun. Receiver left and a couple of receivers to the right. Now he rolls to the left, looking down the field. He shoots a pass, incomplete. A uh, Wildcat uh, player went for a diving catch. That was Landry Tyson. Incomplete. It'll be second down and 10 now for the Wildcats at uh, the 40-yard uh, line in their own end of the field. First drive for the Wildcats. Again, started back at the 24-yard line. They've moved it up to the 40. That nice uh, run there, about a 20-yard run for uh, uh, Caden Davis. Back to uh, Young, back in the pocket. He throws a pass. It is caught, and uh, it was caught by Davis, and uh, he will actually lose yards. Uh, or, let's see, he's going to lose one. Back to the 39-yard line, so it's going to be third and 11 for the Wildcats at the 39-yard uh, line. So this will be a big play early in the ball game here. Jimmy mentioned uh, not much wind to affect things here, but well, that rain's coming down though. Yeah, that's uh, it, it's tough uh, to play in those conditions. Uh, Wildcats and uh, Corsicana both uh, on the same field though. Back to uh, DeCorian Young. He'll pass the ball down the field. It's uh, caught. Uh, caught by uh, Landry Tyson. I had to wait. I almost thought that was intercepted, but Landry Tyson with a nice catch, and uh, he will uh, catch it at the Corsicana 47-yard line. What a big play for the Wildcats to keep this drive alive here. Back to DeCorian Young, and he will hand off, and this is uh, Caden Davis across the 45, across the 40, and he's dragged down at about the 38-yard uh, line. That'll be one yard short of the first down after a nice nine-yard run. It'll be well, let's call it two yards needed back at the 39. So second and two for the Wildcats at the uh, Corsicana 39-yard line. That second Silver Springs Dodge Chrysler Jeep first down certainly was a game saver for the Cats at this moment. Uh, that was a good one. 9.32 left in the first quarter. 0-0 here from Gerald Prim Stadium. And back to DeCorian Young, and he will hand off right up the middle of the field is Chalk Sims across the 30-yard line. Uh, they're going to mark him down. I think uh, the officials are, are stalking the 30-yard line, but that is more than enough for a first down. Wildcats are getting big holes up the middle there right over Ethan Rogers at uh, 
uh, center who had his best ball game of the season last year, according to Coach uh, Greg Owens. Silver Springs Dodge Pass for G first down, and Sims held on to the ball. And the snap back to DeCorian Young. He's looking, has time, and now throws the ball. The receiver, that's a Dodd right down the middle across the 10, and Dodd inside the 10-yard line. Wow, was he wide open, and a beautiful pass uh, by DeCorian Young right on the money. First down and goal to go for the Wildcats uh, down at the 8-yard line. And that's Silver Springs Dodge Chrysler Jeep first down right on cue. I'm going to have to give those to Jimmy a little faster. The Wildcats playing at a frenetic yes. pace right here on this first drive. First and goal from the 8. DeCorian Young will take the snap, and he uh, hands off uh, running back Chalk uh, Sims and uh, move to the three-yard line. Almost said Chalk Word. I knew a county judge in Bosque County named Chalk Word, and uh, so I hope I don't uh, call that running back Chalk Word. He'd be about 80 years old now, so <laughs> I doubt he'd be running that football down there. But Chalk Sims, a good run down there. Second down and goal uh, from uh, the four-yard line. And Corian Young takes the snap. He's rolling uh, to the left. He fires the ball uh, up the and middle of the field, there. and it's caught for a touchdown, Wildcats. Landry, yes. Touchdown, Wildcats. Boy, the official would not give me a call at all. Yeah, it was number 16, Landry Tyson, who made that score. And Northeast Texas former co-op says, way to go, Wildcats. Tyson caught that one. He was basically on his back as it just fell into his uh, chest, and he caught it. Extra point uh, ending here with uh, Chase Thompson. There's a snap. The ball is down. Here's a kick on the way by Zavala. And the kick is good. A good first drive for the Wildcats. Jimmy Rogers knew it all along. Uh, I was the doubting Thomas. 8.05 here in the first quarter. The Wildcats uh, go 76 yards down the field and score. It's the Wildcats 7 and Corsicana 0 with 8.05 left in the first quarter. We'll take a break. Back in a moment. 8.05 left to go here in the first quarter. Seven for the Wildcats, zero for Corsican as the Cats just simply floated down the field with a series of first downs to get that touchdown. And uh, Don was talking about Sims being the name of a county judge. All Sims was running for was the goal line, not political office. Here we go. Yeah, that was Chalk. That was uh, the judge. Uh, his last name was Word. But oh, yeah, Word. Yeah. Here's a kick down the field. It's a short kick. It bounces, uh, picked up by Corsican at the 22-yard line, and that... Uh, return man is dropped right in his tracks. A beautiful kick there by the Wildcats as uh, uh, Coach uh, Hoffman was very complimentary of uh, the entirety of the Wildcats kicking game. Mm -hmm. uh, he pointed that out along with the offense and defense. He said, man, especially the kicking game. He really liked it. And that time uh, he was on the wrong end of it. But Corsicana will have first down and 10 now from their own 23-yard uh, line. And uh, Blake Hoffman, a very exciting young fellow, uh, back at quarterback for uh, Corsicana. He's uh, going to try the running back, Nathan, in there. And Nathan uh, hits pretty much of a stone wall. Uh, no gain on the play. Second down and uh, about 10 for Corsicana. Right along in there at the 23-yard line. And Corsicana kind of huddling up here, so they're going to be a little slower on their offense. They break quickly out of that huddle. And again, Hoffman, the quarterback, takes the snap, and he fakes, and he will keep. He's running uh, to the left, and boy, can he fly across the 30 to 35, out of bounds at the 49-yard uh, line. And first down and 10 for Corsicana on the uh, running play there by uh, Blake Hoffman, and he showed his stuff that time getting around that left end. Now, he was in the district last year with all our uh, mates in East Texas uh, down south, and he was the MVP in that district for uh, the Corsicana Tigers. That's the likes of those Lindales and White House and all that group, Nacogdoches. Rain still pouring down here. So first down and uh, 10 uh, for Corsicana at the 39-yard line, and uh, Hoffman will keep after a fake. He rips it up the middle, and he's finally dragged down uh, by one of the Wildcats. Good tackle there by Connor Bergen, but uh, not before uh, Hoffman uh, reels off about uh, nine yards. Uh, yes, nine yards. It'll be, let's say, eight yards. It'll be second down and two needed uh, at the 48-yard uh, line. 6.59 left to go in the quarter, 7-0 the Wildcats lead. 
Actually, I like one yard better than two. So uh, here we go, second down and one. Hoffman again from the shotgun takes a snap, and here's a handoff. The running back Nathan hitting up in there. He will make the first down. He's tackled at the 49-yard line in Wildcats territory. First down and 10. Uh, and now Corsicana has a uh, person that's down there. He's doing his best to try to get up, but he is really struggling. As uh, for injured for uh, Corsicana, there is Isaac McGee, a tight end. We have an injury timeout, and we'll take a break here and be back in a moment. 6.44 left to go here in the first quarter. 7-0, to zero, the Wildcats are leading, and the Corsicana player making his way off the field on his own power, thankfully. Again, that was uh, Isaac McGee and uh, a, a tight end for Corsicana. First down and 10 for the Tigers are at the Wildcats 49-yard line. Hoffman keeping the ball, and he runs through a hole at right guard, then tried to go head back to the left, and he was tackled as he got across the 45-yard line in Wildcats territory. Gain of about five on the play. It'll be second down and five for this high-powered uh, Corsicana offense. And man alive does uh, Koff or Hoffman uh, look like the real deal, just like advertised. Yeah, Landry Tyson, the man who made that tackle for the Wildcats, did a great job getting in there to get him down. Yeah, because he was really getting ready to yeah. set sail, and he's had some long, long runs this year. He's rushed for almost a 1,000 yards this year. He hands off to Nathan. Nathan uh, trying to break a tackle. He's being knocked backwards, and let's see where they'll mark the forward procedure. I think they will give him most of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, officials still uh, looking to mark the football, and yeah, oh, yeah, he moved way up there to the 41-yard uh, line. That's two yards short of the first down. It'll be third down and two for the Corsicana Tigers, where they have a uh, worlds of great tradition. They used to always advertise when they were in 4A. They had the second best record in Class 4A in the history of Texas. And I, I had to be somebody like Stephenville or perhaps uh, Brown, uh, Brownwood. Uh, Brownwood, yes. Thank you, Jimmy. Here's third down and two now from the 41-yard line. Hoffman rolling to the left, looking down the field, looks to pass. Now he uh, heads up the field. Looked like he uh, picked up the first down. He got uh, knocked out of bounds there by Bryce McQueen, but not in time. A first down and 10 for Corsicana at the 37-yard line in Wildcats territory. 5.15 left to go here in the first quarter as the clock kind of ticks away. Uh, it's not right now, but it has been. Very confident young man. He uh, looked determined to pass, and then when he just didn't have anything, he had that burst of speed to go ahead and pick up that first down. So very confident quarterback, and why not? He's had two great years. Here's uh, Hoffman handing off. Nathan, oh, hit right away. Uh, good play. Kylan Wade uh, dives in there, comes in low. Wade with 17 tackles last week against Ennis, and he made his uh, uh, presence known out there. Uh, no gain on the play by uh, Nathan. Second down and 10 for Corsicana from uh, the Wildcat 37-yard line. Boy, Coach Owens, he said, I can't emphasize enough how well we need to tackle against these Corsicana players. And Hoffman takes the snap. He fakes. He's going to keep around the right side. He gets some blocks, and he uh, heads downfield. Looks like he has another first down. He got inside the 30, down around the 25-yard uh, line, and that's good enough for the first down. Wow, he is so quick when he decides to run. He goes through those holes, and he is really rolling. Uh, he's supposedly a, a hurdles champion, uh, but, man, he, he runs like a sprinter. Three receivers out to the left for Hoffman from the Wildcats 25-yard uh, line. And he's looking. Here's a sales of pass. It is caught. Receiver uh, keeps his feet and heads inside to the 10-yard line before he's finally knocked out of bounds. It was uh, quite a catch there for uh, Corsicana, and that catch was made by Joseph Fuentes, who has, has, quite, has uh, a few catches this year, but he's one of the lesser-known uh, receivers. But uh, he certainly made a beautiful catch on that and then a nice run after the catch. First down and goal now for the Corsicana Tigers at the Wildcats' nine-yard line. 4.15 left in the first quarter. Wildcats leading 7 to nothing. Hoffman takes a snap. Handoff Nathan sweeping to the right side. Nathan running through a big hole and he's into the end zone touchdown for Corsicana a nine yard touchdown run for let's see uh, Dejeon Nathan and with 408 left to go Corsicana on the board now 
chance to tie it up here. And again, uh, that place kicker, Perez, for Corsicana. John Carlo Perez. Ball is down. Here's the kick by Perez, and the kick is good. 4.08 left in the first quarter. Uh, exciting football game so far as uh, both offenses uh, go the distance. A 77-yard touchdown drive for Corsicana to tie the score at 7-7. We have 4.08 left in the first quarter, and we'll take a break here, and we'll be back in a moment. 4.08 left to go in the first quarter. 7-7 seven to seven our score as the Wildcats get ready to receive the ball after Corsicana having scored. And again, John Carlo Perez will do the kicking on the kickoff here with those bright uh, pink shoes uh, for the month of October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, Car uh, here's uh, Perez with a kick. It's another short one. Looked like a fair catch was made that time and uh, picked up by, I thought uh, Sims was going to get it, but he let an up man pick it up, and then he was driven backwards. We'll have to see where the forward progress uh, amounted to. Looked like that was picked up by Chase Haney. It was Chase Haney who picked it up. And they're going to give him, uh, let's see, about uh, not too far from where the where the everything started, it'll be at the 21 yard line. Seemed like it was about to the 23 where where Sims thought he was going to catch the ball, and then Haney figured that somebody ought to at least get their hands on it, and not let it bounce around. But I think Sims would have got it. First down and 10 for the Wildcats at the 21 yard line. Fake and a pass, and the ball is caught by uh, Haney, and uh, he is going to be wrapped up uh, right at the. Uh, at the 21-yard line, no gain on the play. So second down and 10 for the Wildcats at their own 21-yard line. You can see the potential of this uh, Corsicana offense. Sometimes they really shut down plays very, very quickly. Yeah, that defense was ready for that play for sure. It was just one of those situations. They have uh, literally shut out three of the district teams, two of them on the scoreboard, and they didn't let Greenville score against their defense. Here's a Young now handing off, or no, faking, and he's rolling, uh, and he's uh, under pressure and now sails the ball into the sideline to uh, uh, get the, that play uh, without a big loss there. And also he was outside the uh, uh, tackle box, so it will be third down and 10 for the Wildcats at the 21-yard line. And they overcame a lot of really big uh, third down plays in the first drive, and now they're facing one again against uh, Corsicana Tigers defense. We're tied at 7, 303 left here in the first quarter. To Corian Young, takes the snap, he gets rushed, he throws, it's caught by Colton Allen. He breaks the tackle, he's across the 25, he'll get up to the 26, that will not be enough. It'll be a fourth down and about five for the Wildcats at their own 26-yard uh, line. And that will, they'll have to call on Jermon Bryant Amos to uh, uh, kick, and he comes in. Well, it's not not just pink, but this is hot pink. I mean, <laughs> uh, so on some of these Wildcats. And uh, Jermon Bryant Amos back to punt for the Wildcats. You can see that stuff in the dark. A snap back to uh, Bryant Amos, and he puts the foot into it. A high kick. It's going to come up a little short. It hits and takes a back roll, and right around the 50-yard line, the Wildcats will cover it right about there. And looks like they're going to mark it at the Wildcats' 49-yard line. So it'll be uh, Corsicana ball at uh, the Wildcats' 49-yard uh, line. Actually, you put it at 50. Yeah, that, that's right. Uh, as I was sitting here scribbling, I've got uh, all the pressure in the world. I've got to handle the... Uh, uh, story for the website, uh, Pressure of Butch always does such a great job. So let's uh, change that to uh, the uh, mid midfield stripe, the 50-yard line. Hoffman takes a snap, handoff a running back, and he is, a, oh, nice tackle by the Wildcats right at the line of scrimmage. And very, very good tackle there. Yeah, it was. Number 40 for the Wildcats making that tackle, or 40, 43. 43, George, yeah. George Greenway. George Greenway, yes. He's an inside linebacker that uh, has uh, had a good season uh, backing up uh, Daniel Marino and also uh, Bryce McQueen. So second down and 10 uh, after the no uh, gain there for Corsicana. But it hadn't been Nathan doing a great deal of damage except on the touchdown. And here's uh, Hoffman running, and all oh, the Wildcats pushed him forward. Oh, there's a lot of hitting uh, late uh, on the play there. 
I think uh, somebody from Corsicana may have cleaned up around the pile. The Wildcats offensive, or the coaches are irate that uh, they didn't get a flag there. Was somebody kind of hanging around uh, the end of that play and maybe got busted on there. But Hoffman gained five on the play. It'll be third down and five for Corsicana at the Wildcats 45-yard line. This is a big, big play here for that Wildcats defense. They try to shut the door on uh, Corsicana and their talented offense. Hoffman takes the snap. He uh, hands off. Uh, Nathan sweeping to the right. Makes the first down across the 40, 35, and the 30. And that play had great blocking. He went 15 yards or something before he encountered anybody. First down and 10 for Corsican on a well-designed run as uh, they're down at the 27-yard, uh, let's call it the 26-yard line uh, for uh, Corsicana, 26 of the Wildcats. 54 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. 7-7 seven to seven our score. And Corsicana beginning to knock on the door a little bit here. One receiver out to the right, two to the left for Hoffman. And uh, he looks to the left. He fires a pass. It is caught, and they get a good block. The receiver steams up to the 21-yard line. Pass was caught by Gervonta Anderson. He is their leading uh, pass uh, receiver with 23 catches on the season, and he just added one to that list. And that's a gain of five on the play. It'll be second down and five for Corsicano on the Wildcats' 21-yard line. And uh, Isaac McGee kind of bouncing around out there, but they left him in. He was having a little trouble with an ankle. Yeah, he was hurt earlier. Back to uh, Hoffman, and uh, he fakes to the running back. He's going to keep. Uh, the flag flies, and a good tackle by the Wildcats. Shut that play down. Looked like Landry Tyson coming up from the safety position. And we're making the tackle right at the line of scrimmage, but the flags did fly. It's a penalty against uh, Corsicana. All right. And here's the mark off. Holding 76 on the offense. Going to be a 10 yard penalty from the spot. Replay second down. That's a 10 yard penalty back to the 31 yard line. And so it will play second down again. But now, Corsicana needs 15 yards for the first down. So second down and 15 from the Wildcats 31 yard line. Hold those Tigers. And 12 seconds to go here in this quarter. Second quarter coming up. Yeah, they'll be lucky to get, probably just will get this playoff. They're clicking down back to a Hoffman, and he uh, hands off. Here's a receiver coming around the right side, or, uh, the right side, and he's dragged down around the 23-yard line as a wide receiver uh, coming around. I think that was Gervonta Anderson on the sweep, and uh, he was knocked down uh, about the 22-yard line. It's going to be third down and uh, six needed for the first down. You know, I think uh, by oh. Wildcats taking that penalty, uh, that uh, 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 amounted to about one yard difference from where the ball was before they took that penalty. Right. We are at the end of the first quarter, Wildcats 7, Corsicana 7, and uh, we'll take a break here and we'll be back in a moment. 7-7 seven to seven our score, Silver Springs and Corsicana here at J.L. Prim Stadium tonight. We're entering into the second quarter of play, and we will remind you to stay with us for halftime. Um, I think Don and I may have to talk the whole halftime because it's still pouring rain out there, and I'm not sure the bands will be performing in this kind of rain. But stay with us as we go through this second quarter. All right, we have third down and six uh, for Corsicana. They're at the 22-yard line in Wildcats territory. And again, uh, Blake Hoffman, the quarterback, will take the snap, and he will hand off Nathan sweeping to the left, and he is buried by a blue wave over there and uh, just uh, took him down for uh, next to nothing. A Wildcat kind of getting up gingerly there, and uh, that may be hoping uh, that... They can get him off the field there. Yeah, that's... Uh, that looks like Nacho Guerrero, I believe. Yeah. Guerrero. They call him uh, Nacho. It's Ignacio. 
So fourth down and six after a no gain there on a good defensive play by the Wildcats. And here come the Tigers trying for it here on fourth down and six. And Hoffman is back in the shotgun. Will take the snap. Looking to the right. He fires a pass downfield. It's caught. And uh, the receiver inside the 10 down to around the five-yard line. Again, that was... Uh, Joseph Fuentes. And he picked up that first down they needed. As uh, Fuentes has had a couple of catches. I don't think he's had, but maybe about nine on the whole season. But he's uh, he's getting open here. And so first down and goal to go for Corsicana. They'll mark the ball down at the six-yard line. So goal to go now for uh, Hoffman and company. Takes the snap. A handoff. Uh, running back uh, jumping uh, over the pile and get down to around the three. They're going to carry him all the way into the end zone. And it's a touchdown for Corsicana. The whistle never blew until that, that uh, massive pile moved into the end zone. We've seen that a couple of times this year, Jimmy, right. where the officials have really let the play continue. And that rugby scrum just moved right into the end zone. Touchdown for uh, Corsicana. A six-yard touchdown run. And here comes the extra point try. And again, John uh, Carlo Perez on the extra point. It's a good snap. The kick on the way. Block has just missed on the block. And the kick is good. 10-59 uh, left uh, here in the second quarter. A new score here from Gerald Prim Stadium. The Corsicana Tigers 14. Wildcats of Sulphur Springs 7. And let's take a break here and we'll be back in a moment. 10.59 to go in the second quarter. 14 for Corsicana, 7 for the Wildcats. We'll have an opportunity to see how these cats are coming back because uh, they really haven't been behind this early in a game that much this year anyway. And uh, again, Perez will do the kicking off. I remember one of the early games where they got behind by seven, but uh, I think they scored the next couple of touchdowns and went back out in the lead. Exactly. Might have been in that Wakeland game. I'm not sure. It was a very early game. Right. And here's uh, Perez. He kicks it high in the air and short, and the Wildcats will take it at the 26. Return man across the 30, the 35 to the 40. He's to the 50. He could go to the 40, to the 30. He's going to go all the way for a touchdown. A Wildcat score all the way down the field in the touchdown by Cody Campbell. That's who it was. <laughs> well, was it? What was that? Uh, number No, no, that nine. was DQ, DQ Pitts. Yeah, it was DQ I'm Pitts. sorry, I thought that was a five. I, uh, Cody Campbell was injured I, I, or not yeah. uh, playing. That was DQ Pitts. And uh, DQ Pitts with a touchdown return. And on the kickoff. And Northeast Texas Farmers Co-op says, way to go, Wildcats. I think they just proved what they will do if they get behind. Boy, you know, DQ was a great uh, return man. He had one great punt return. He was injured and then and uh, has really been concentrating on defense since then. Here's the extra point uh, from uh, Zavala. And his extra point kick is good. He's been perfect on the season. 10.46 now left as it took DQ 13 seconds to go uh, that distance. And after 10.46 left in the second quarter, Wildcats 14, Corsicana 14. Let's take a break here, and we'll be back in a moment. 10.46 to go here in the second quarter, or the first half. 14 to 14, our score. Boy, I, I misread a number. Uh, but uh, that was DQ Pitts, and he is a fast individual. He can really fly, and like I say, he was a deluxe. He had one super punt return uh, several years ago, uh, but he's been on the defense ever since. Here's a kickoff for the Wildcats. Zavala puts the foot into it. It's a short kick, pooched and taken at the 23, and uh, here's a receiver, Fuentes, running it back, and he is at the 40. Now breaks a couple of tackles. The Wildcats have him corralled, but he's going to run across the field and gain yardage and he's across the 50 continuing to break tackles and finally wrapped up at about the 43 yard line in Wildcats territory. What an exciting young man that Fuentes as he kept spinning and he would spin right out of trouble. The Wildcats had him corralled at one time, had about five guys in his face, and he managed to get all the way across the field. But I think we have a flag, Jimmy. They do it. Chasen, uh, or Kaysen Churchman, the man who made the tackle, we'll see what they call here. Looks like they're, uh, unless they're just changing the football, but uh, we, let's see what he says. Yeah, flag. Holding. Number 31, of course, Canada. It's going to be a 10-yard penalty from the spot. 
That's a huge penalty. Goes all the way back now. The spot was the 42-yard line in Corsicana territory. So the Tigers penalized all the way back to their own 32. So that was a, oh, probably about a 25-yard penalty there uh, uh, on the hold on the kickoff return. Does make the return a little bit easier if you can uh, hang on. Yeah. And a lot of times that kind of run does. And here's Hoffman uh, taking the snap and uh, heading out to the right side, the running back, and uh, he will gain a few yards and then gang tackle by the Wildcats after Nathan uh, on the run as they've uh, really used Nathan tonight. And that time he gained uh, about two yards. So second down and eight for Corsicana at uh, their own 34-yard line. Of course, the Canada using a lot of personnel as players in and out for these Tigers. They throw a lot at you. Coach Hoffman, a very complex system on offense and defense. 9.50 to go here in the first half. 14-14 our score. And Blake Hoffman is back in the shotgun. On second down and eight. Takes the snap. A whistle blows right at the snap. Of course, the Canada takes a timeout right before the snap. So 9.40 left here in the second quarter. Wildcats 14, of course, the Canada 14. We'll take the break with them back in a moment. 9.40 to go here in the first half of play. It's 14 to 14, our score. And these teams not taking any time. They're ready to play in this ring. And here's second down and eight. And from the 34-yard line for the Corsicana Tigers, Blake Hoffman back in the shotgun, takes a snap, fakes, rolls to the left. He's being pursued. He's looking and looking. Now he sails a pass down the field, incomplete. A flag flies about 30 feet up in the air. That was uh, uh, an Olympian toss. But it looks like a man downfield. It looks yes. like the indication that I got. Pass was incomplete. Pass attempt is incomplete. There is a flag. I believe that was Klein was the intended receiver. Wildcats will decline that penalty to get Corsicana to third down here, and it'll be third down and eight now from the 34-yard line. Klein caught a very dramatic touchdown, a long maybe 24-yard pass or something like that in the dying seconds as Corsicana beat uh, Kaufman with that play with just seconds left in the ball game. And so Klein, a clutch receiver, but he did not catch that one, and they had a man downfield anyway. So here's a big third and eight. Landry Tyson jumping up and down and asking the fans to get into it here on a big third down play for the Wildcats. Hoffman takes the snap, handoff Nathan sweeping to the left, and Nathan is, will get the first down, looks like, as he got that lean right at the end. It's going to depend on the mark. The, they look like they're going to mark it back a little bit. Yeah, they, they, they moved it a full yard back, and that made the difference. It's fourth down and one. It's, uh, is uh, the mark uh, very critical from the officials there. And fourth down and one now. Of course, Akana may not want to give that ball back to the Wildcats. Yeah, he's going to go for it. He's mad. He's going to go for it. Boy, boy, this is rolling the dice right here. But he's got a great offense. And you think, yeah, they should be able to get one They're yard. not going to have enough time. They're going to have to call timeout. Yeah, they've got uh, three seconds right now. And there's a... Uh, I believe that may be the second timeout. It is. For uh, the Corsicana Tigers. So timeout taken. 8.59 left in the second quarter. Wildcats 14. Corsicana 14. We'll take a break with them. Back in a moment. 8.59 to go here in the first half of play. 14 to 14 our score. Big play here. Fourth down and one now. Corsicana from their own 41-yard line as they're going to go for it here unless they try to draw the Wildcats offside. Hoffman will take the snap. Handoff running back hitting in there. Got the first down. That was Nathan just straight ahead. And that's he's the only running back we've seen tonight. Uh, he has the most yards of any course again a running back, but they've got another uh, player that uh, also has close to 500 yards. And Nathan has a good uh, knack to go over a line. He's jumped over the line a couple of times here tonight. Did them too. Yeah, Cannon Moore is the other running back. We have not seen him. Here's first down and 10 for Corsicana at their own 44-yard line. And now Hoffman will keep. And the Wildcats uh, grab a hold of him real quick and uh, hold him to about two yards there. 
as Wildcats doing a good job on Hoffman that time. Uh, uh, Jose Rodriguez getting credit for the tackle for the Wildcats in that defensive tackle position. And we mentioned uh, Nacho Guerrero uh, had come out, and uh, he's back in there now at the nose. We're glad to see that uh, he shook off whatever was bothering him. Second down and eight now from the 46-yard line. And the snap to Hoffman, and he will hand off. Here's uh, Nathan hitting in there, and Nathan uh, about to the 49-yard line as uh, the pile moves to about the 50. But that's going to be four yards short of the first down. Third down and four for Corsicana right at midfield. 7.45 left uh, here in the second quarter. We're tied at 14, the Wildcats 14, and Corsicana 14. Roy City and Greenville playing in Roy City tonight at 7-0. To Roy City leads there. Forney leads Ennis 13-7. They're playing wow. in Forney. And Kaufman leads Terrell 9-7. They're playing in Terrell. Wow. Still uh, very competitive there. Uh, Hoffman takes a snap on this big play. He gets a rush, and he oh, he breaks the tackle. He's across the 50. Oh, that, that was a killer. First down uh, up near the 40-yard line. Oh, and then he bowls somebody over. Boy, somebody took a tremendous hit. I think it was a coach as somebody along the sideline really got nailed. Boy, you've really got to just be very, very uh, aware along the sideline. Hoffman hit somebody at full speed, and uh, they're going to – be attending. It was not a player. It uh, was somebody along that sideline. 7.14 to go here in the first half. We're tied at 14 all. We are at Prim Stadium. And they will, I'm sure, continue to uh, uh, help that uh, person that was knocked down on the sideline. First down and 10 for uh, Corsicana from the 40-yard line. Here's a pass. The ball is caught by Fuentes again, Go and uh, he uh, refuses to go out of bounds and then took a tremendous hit from Landry Tyson uh, over inside the 40-yard line. We've got a flag down. That gained about four, but again, as Jimmy uh, indicated there, a flag was down. Yeah, some boy, I have, I have seen some really tough collisions uh, uh, on the sideline, and that was about as tough as it gets. That person was hit at full speed, and they were just unaware. And I don't know whether it was a coach or whether it was a person down there doing a job or something, uh, or photographers or who knows what. There we go. Illegal formation. Too many men in the backfield. It's five-yard penalty. Replay one. So too many men in the backfield, five-yard penalty. So it'll be uh, first down and 15 for Corsicana now. And the uh, ball at the 45-yard uh, line in Wildcats territory. Hoffman back in the shotgun, takes the snap. He'll try the running back right up the middle of the field, and he will uh, get yardage. And again, that rugby scrum trying to move forward. This time, they probably got a couple of yards. But, man, you just can't give up on this Corsicana team. They just keep uh, pushing forward. They got to the 39-yard line. So it'll be second down and nine needed now from the 39-yard line. And our man down on the field is kind of pointing to his hip area as the area that he's injured. They've got a gurney coming in. And there's another foul, personal foul against Corsicana. Wow, wonder where that came from. But it's a biggie and all the way back to the 46-yard line. So. Uh, Tacked onto that, I was yeah, trying to watch the action on the sideline, see if we could get any kind of idea. Uh, Tammy Carroll, I see her working down there to, yeah, to EMS, help. EMS out there with them. Yeah, that was, you know, a person without a uniform on down there and, and just kind of look up and see a player that just runs into you at full speed. And, and Hoffman is a big fellow. So second down and 24 now for uh, the Tigers, and Hoffman back to pass, and he's uh, getting a rush now. He's scrambling back there. He's pulled down by the Wildcats on a sack inside the 40-yard line. Nice sack. I see uh, DQ Pitts over there. And also that's uh, number 59 for the Wildcats in there on that tackle. That's uh, Peoples. Uh, the young sophomore, DeAndre Peoples. Nice play, DeAndre. He also had a fumble. He had the first fumble recovery this year for the Wildcats. Probably his first ball game. Uh, I think Coach Owen said he probably thinks, hey, this is easy. I love high school football. <laughs> Not so easy, but he, he made a good play there. Third down and 31 now for uh, Corsicana. Back to Hoffman. He's back to pass in the pocket. A screen. The ball is dropped. 
as Corsicana dropped the ball around the 40-yard uh, line. DQ Pitts was all over that anyway. I'm going to have to call his name about a million times to make up for that uh, but, uh, butchered uh, uh, kickoff return. DQ will never forgive me. It's punt time for Corsicana, the ball on the 39-yard uh, line. And uh, Dodd is back uh, to the 25-yard line uh, waiting for the punt from, on this, from Corsicana. The snap is back and the kick on the way, and it's a line drive kick down the field. Uh, will hit and bounce sideways, and Corsicana will down it uh, at the 28-yard line in Wildcats territory. 5.37 left uh, here in the second quarter. Wildcats 14 and Corsicana 14 in a good football game, as advertised between two uh, the two best teams so far in the district. Wildcats with four district games down and four to go. They're at the halfway point. Have first down and 10 now from their own 28. To Corey and Young back in the shotgun. Two receivers out to the left, two to the right. We're running back uh, with him uh, in the backfield. And DeCorian takes a snap, and it will be a uh, it. fake. Uh, and then DeCorian keeping uh, like lightning around that right side. He went across the 40, was finally tackled at the 43-yard line after a good fake. Uh, Wildcats doing a good job of running out the fake. And then DeCorian takes off to the right, and first down and 10 for the Wildcats at their own 43. Silver Springs Dodge Chrysler Jeep first down. And DeCorian back in the shotgun. Uh, Will take the snap, throws the ball out. The ball is uh, caught by Dodd. He'll be thrown for a loss as uh, the, they were all over Dodd on that after the catch. And that uh, pass play will lose uh, about uh, three yards on the play back to the 40-yard line. So it'll be second down and 13. Uh, Wildcats at their own 40 after that uh, completion for minus three. Well, they, they obviously saw that 79-yard touchdown pass last week where Dodd took a short pass the distance. Of course, they, they, he's a marked man anyway. Jermon Bryant Amos in, in motion. He will stop uh, to the left side of the line. And here is a running play for the Wildcats. It'll go back uh, just about to uh, the original line of scrimmage. Uh, actually, one yard short. So it'll be third and 11 for the Wildcats at their own 42 after the running play there for uh, Caden Davis. And once again, Young uh, in the backfield. Two receivers out to the right. Now one uh, uh, Dodd in motion uh, to the slot on the uh, left side. DeCorian Young back, and now he throws a screen. Caught by Jermon Brian Amos across the 45 to the 50. The 45, first down and 10 for the Wildcats. Jermon Brian Amos, what a huge target. And pretty rapid young man as he moved it down to the 41-yard line. First and 10 for the Wildcats in Corsicana territory. Silver Springs, Dodge Chrysler Jeep, first down as Amos took that one. Well-designed play. We're everything looked like it was heading to the left and then DeCorian threw back to the right on the screen and kind of uh, caught uh, Corsicana's defense on that one. Good for the first down. DeCorian Young back in the shotgun. 3.47 left uh, here in the first half. Back to DeCorian Young. Has time in the pocket. Sails the ball down. Caught Landry Tyson across the 30 and he's dragged down at the 27 yard line. First down and 10 for the Wildcats. Good strike uh, Young to uh, Landry Tyson. Silver Springs Dodge Chrysler Jeep first down. And Jimmy's having to hurry because those Wildcats are snapping it again. Hand off Caden Davis across the 25 and then Davis down to the 23 yard line on the Play. Gain of four. Be second down and six uh, for the Wildcats at the 23 yard line in uh, Corsicana Tiger territory. That one was about to break. Yeah, that looked good. And uh, DeCorian again back in the shotgun. This time they uh, passed on the quick snap. And they're going to take just a little bit more time here. Two receivers out to the left, one to the right. And uh, running back just to the right of uh, Young. DeCorian Young, the quarterback, takes the snap. Back in the pocket. And now DeCorian is flushed, and he's being chased by that big all-state defensive man. And now he rolls all the way around, throws it down the field, and he sailed it out of bounds uh, to uh, get it out of harm's way. 
good play. He got outside of that pocket area. It's going to be third down and six now for the Wildcats, but that, that is a it, it better than to try to force something no into kid. coverage yep. and suffering the interception. Both of these quarterbacks have done a good job not throwing the interception. They each have about two, but uh, you know, for this deep in the season, that is not bad at all. And for this kind of rain, it's not bad at all yes. either. Yeah, they're at, uh, pigskin bound to be very slick tonight. Third down and six for the Wildcats at the 23-yard line, and here's a handoff running back hitting up in there. And Oh, he had a brick wall uh, from Corsicana. That was a huge tackle down there made by Tyler Farmer, that middle linebacker, at the 22-yard line. So now the Wildcats are looking at a fourth down play, and they need about five for the first down. And we've got 325 left to go here in the first half. They brought in Jermon Bryant Amos. They brought in Chalk Sims. The Wildcats are going to go for it here on fourth down and five. We just have 218 left uh, here in the uh, second quarter. But that's plenty of time for Corsicana's offense. DeCorian Young takes the snap, and now he's rolling, getting a big rush. He fires the pass. It's caught. Chalk Sims to the 20, to the 15. Sims to the 10, bouncing off a tackle and gets inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. First down and 10 for the Wildcats. I'm scanning for flags, and I do not see one. So, Silver Springs Dodge Chrysler Jeep first down. Well, another well-designed play. Uh, uh, Matt Young really uh, looked like he's kind of getting uh, into the playbook a little bit uh, with some fancy stuff that's working. And now DeCorian Young, first down and goal from the eight-yard line, takes it. This is a run all the way across the 10. DeCorian to about the six-yard line where he stopped. It'll be second down and goal for the Wildcats at the six-yard line. Now, a lot has happened at the six-yard line tonight. Both Corsicana's touchdowns came from the six-yard line. Just a statistical note that you might file away in the worthless department, perhaps. <laughs> second down and goal to go now from the six. Corian Young takes the snap, and he'll hand off. This is Colton Allen hitting up in there. Boy, no place to run. Allen got uh, inside the five just barely, so it's going to be third down and goal for the Wildcats right at the five-yard line. Eating time off this clock as it ticks down to about a minute ten coming up. Yeah, you don't want to leave Corsicana much time here. This is third down and goal from the five-yard line. You don't know if the Wildcats would settle for three or... Or they've got two more plays if they want them. They're at the five and under a minute. And let's see what uh, Matt Young has in the playbook here. Three receivers right, one to the left for DeCorian Young. He's uh, rolling and uh, under pressure. Now sails the ball down. The ball is caught right around the, uh, oh, incomplete. Uh, incomplete down around the goal line. Receiver down there. Uh, Dodd was the receiver. He, he looked pretty open, but the ball came up a little short, and he tried to uh, make the catch, but I think it short hopped him down there. And so it's going to be fourth down, and uh, the Wildcats uh, are going to try a field goal here as they bring in Brandon Zavala. And this will be a short one. This will be a 22 yard field goal from the left hash. And again, Jace Thompson doing the holding for Zavala. And the snap uh, rolls back there, and the kick is blocked, and the kick is on the turf here. And, of course, Akana tries to pick it up, but they don't, and then they get it out to about the 27-yard line. The Wildcats' field goal is blocked. The ball uh, kind of rolled back to Jace Thompson, and uh, he may not have uh, had uh, much of a hold to try to get a lift on the ball, but all was said and done. Some of the players uh, getting into it kind of on the Wildcat sideline and the officials doing a good job there jumping in and, and making sure that uh, boys won't be boys down there. And, well, trying to keep that ball at the right spot where it went down too. So, 27 yard line is where they mark it and that's Corsicana will have 37 seconds to uh, try to do something here. Wildcats 14, Corsicana 14. Just about to the first half. There's still 27 ticks here. So, for well, Corsicana to see uh, what uh, what they can do. If they've got a gadget, we may see it right here. First and 10 now for Hoffman from the 27-yard line. Fakes to the running back. Big rush. He peeled off that uh, runner. He uh, fakes a broke, broke another tackle and another, and he's going to gain a yard or two, uh, or about to one yard maybe to the 28-yard uh, line, I believe. So only about a yard gain, but, oh, my, somebody missed a sack back there. He ducked under it, it looks like. 
they will move it uh, one yard up. So second down and about nine for Corsicana. Meanwhile, the clock ticks down to 29 seconds. Boy, the Wildcats, uh, somebody did not get blocked at all, and they were blowing and going. That might have been Romeo Hawkins Davis. It looked like he was shot out of a cannon. Back to Hoffman. Back to pass. He gets a blitz now. He steps up into the pocket. He sails it down the field. Wildcats will pick it off at the 40 to the 45 to the 50 and to the 45-yard line. An intercepted pass. Boy, that was a duck just waiting to be shot out of the air. And the interception by Landry Tyson, that is his third on the season. He can catch him on offense and defense. And the Wildcats now have 16 seconds to try to do something. And it's the football from uh, the Corsicana 45-yard line. And the Corsicana quarterback took a big hit when uh, he let go of that. They're oh, kind of helping him off the field right now. Did he ever? Yeah, he was hit right when he threw it. I did not see the player that, do that, that did that. I tend to watch the flight of the ball, unfortunately. Right. And here is uh, DeCorian Young to see what he can do in the last 16 seconds. He's back to pass, has time, steps up in the pocket, now scrambles out of the pocket, looking uh, down the field, sails it down the field, incomplete. The ball was tipped by a defender from Corsicana. The Wildcats had a couple of receivers in the area. The ball was uh, broken up there by uh, Eric Dixon. Almost said Eric Dickerson, but it's Eric Dixon. <laughs> for uh, Corsicana. The Wildcats had a couple of receivers in the area, but incomplete pass. But now the uh, lesser known secret agent, 008, all that's left uh, here in the uh, second quarter. The Wildcats again from the 45 yard line. I guess uh, you throw uh, all the way to the end zone perhaps. Let's see what the Wildcats do to Corey and Young from the 45, back to pass. It's only a three-man rush, a screen, and oh, just got to the receiver across the 40. This is uh, Caden Davis. Davis trying to break tackles. He's he, That's going to be the end of the first half as Davis was tackled at the 32-yard line on a screen, and they were just hoping for a great individual effort by Caden Davis, and of course, Akana bottled him up and dropped him at about the 32-yard line. And that is the end of the first half, and what has been a very exciting first half and after uh, our uh, first uh, 24 minutes here, nothing decided. Wildcats 14, Corsicana 14, and it is halftime here of this exciting football game and I'll turn it over now to Jimmy Rogers and let him be the ringmaster for halftime here. And it looks like Corsicana band ready to come out onto the field here in just a moment. Uh, they are setting up a little bit and uh, at least uh, some bands are coming out. And uh, we'll see what we have here in a moment. Gallon Insurance, Silver Springs Floral, C Century 21 Hometown Discount Wheel and Tire sponsor halftime here on KSST for Wildcat Football. We'll take a break and we'll be back with the halftime show right after this. All right. Join the band and clap along tonight as we present some Spirit Along with Fanfare and Swing March.
Congratulations to the Wildcat Band on their first division ratings at, on Tuesday's UIL contest held right here in Sulphur Springs. Join the Wildcat Band tomorrow as they travel to Prairie Land for their final competition of the season. Prairie Land performance time is 3.45. Your halftime announcer saying, maybe we'll have a game without rain one day. Third quarter about to begin here at Prim Stadium. Our score, Wildcats 14, Corsicana 14. This is the game for first place in District 8-5A. It's going to be a great game here this evening. And uh, Don Julian doing your play-by-play. -play. Doug Haston videoing this game for replay on Channel 18. I'm Jim Rogers. We're glad you're with us. And uh, we have found out who uh, the, the uh, actually a, vet, a volunteer coach was uh, injured and one of the the most popular guys around, and that's Chuck Oaf. Uh, now, let us tell you quickly that Chuck is okay. And, uh, so I'm sure he was shaken up and everything, but uh, uh, he's going to be hopefully just fine. Uh, we'll probably find out more. But uh, Chuck Oaf down there uh, really got uh, hit like he's probably never been hit before. But uh, hopefully he'll be he'll just fine. He's a great volunteer coach, and he comes in and and helps these Wildcats uh, all the time. Here's a Wildcats kickoff and a short kick and a great catch by Corsicana up man as it hit him right in the gut and he made a great catch at the 46. It's a wonder that didn't bounce off of him. So Corsicana will get great field position after that short kick. And Corsicana first down and 10 from their own 46 yard line. I don't know what that was. I imagine it was designed to be kicked along the ground, but it just, uh, that guy just, it kind of stuck there. Yeah. Made a great catch. Yeah, that, he, that's not easy to do. Yeah, that that was a line drive. I mean, he yes, right at him, and then he caught it, held on to it. Can't well, let's see it. what the Tigers have up their sleeve here. Is uh, you can always tell the adjustments usually by the first drive in the third quarter, and it's back to Hoffman, and he fakes, and now he'll keep to the left, and oh, he's uh, running, he's uh, trying to get around the corner. Oh, a nice uh, secure tackle there by Damian Dugan on the corner. But uh, Hoffman will gain uh, eight, eight yards. Now we've got a flag. Oh, we have a flag down. Okay. Yeah, we have holding. All Good right. So that'll negate that. It was an eight-yard run. Like one of their receivers uh, was caught with his hand in the cookie jar. That was a tight end. Uh, got uh, daubed on that. And so that'll move it back to the 36-yard line. Uh, negate uh, Hoffman's eight-yard run. Talked about more of him and. And he keeps and uh, ripped off eight yards, but uh, player holding. And so Carsicana now facing uh, first down and 20 from uh, their own 36-yard uh, line. And Hoffman from the shotgun takes a snap. Here's a handoff. This is Nathan running to the right. He's across the 40, across the 45, and uh, knocked off his feet at about the 46-yard line. That'll gain uh, all of the holding yardage back. So it'll be second down now, and it'll be uh, 10 yards needed from the original line of scrimmage, the 46-yard line. Andy Eddins, the man on the tackle there. Andy on that corner coming up. And so here we go, second down and 10 now from the 46. Of course, again, on their own territory. They'll try Nathan uh, right up the middle. Oh, he hit a brick wall that time. Wow, what a great tackle by Daniel Marino. As Daniel is one, has been one of the leading tacklers, he finally got passed last week by Kylan Wade, who made 17 tackles against Ennis. I've been looking for him to kind of break out, and uh, he really did. Working with uh, the defensive coordinator and, and a very coachable athlete, uh, the defensive coordinator said, and it's paying off. Now here's Hoffman rolling. Uh, he get a big rush from Kylan Wade. He broke that tackle, and he's not going to break the next three, and he sacked a huge sack for the Wildcats. And Kylan Wade got back on that. I think he had a couple of helpers, maybe DQ Pitts in there as well. And uh, one of the defensive linemen as well. Right. I think that was Ignacio uh, Guerrero. So a three-man uh, sack there. And, and of course, a can of fourth and a, a million here. Fourth down and 20. The ball, or actually 21 from uh, the 35-yard line. Wildcats have uh, 
Austin Dodd back around the 35-yard line, uh, ready for this punt. There's a snap back, and here's the kick on the way. It's a boomer. Dodd will take it right at the 30, and Dodd trying to get around the corner. He does. He's across the 35, Dodd to the 40, and Dodd cutting back, and across the 45 to the 50, Dodd to the 45 to the 40. He may go. He's to the 30, the 20. They're trying to cut him off, and Dodd just made it into the end zone. What a play. A huge punt return. We've got a flag. We've got a flag. Oh, my. I'm wondering, though, if that wasn't uh, unsportsmanlike because that was the spot where it was taking place. Let's see. Uh, do uh, pink flags count? No, that's yellow. Oh, that looks pretty pink to me. Oh, well, that one. Oh, yeah. that, that's a marker, marker, isn't it? Yeah. That may be the spot of the foul. Yeah, they've called it on the cats. All right. Boy, that's too bad as Austin Dodd sets sail and and takes it all the way back. But uh, yeah, here's the call. We'll see what it is. It'll still be a it's real holding. good return. Yeah, it's holding against the Wildcats. Oh, my. Somebody's going to feel terrible in the film session. Of course, he probably feels pretty terrible right now. You never want to negate a touchdown. And they're talking, oh, here's a call, holding. Well, if it's the 33-yard line. Oh, we've got oh, offsetting uh, penalties. Well, what does that do? Well, I don't know. Let's see. They're still talking it over. That'll probably replay the down. Here we go. Re-kick? <laughs> no, replay the down. The officials are all getting together here. You're, you're right, man. It was the yellow flag. Block in the back. Number seven, Sulphur Springs. After the kick during the play, personal foul number 12 on Corsicana. Both penalties will be ex both penalties will be marked off. So they'll they'll uh, <laughs> mark off against the Wildcats first for the block in the back, and it was it happened way back uh, around. Looked like it marked at the 33 yard right. line, and uh, and now here comes the mark off against uh, Corsicana. This kind of a I'm not sure this may have even been a dead ball thing or something. Yeah, it was. It was after the play. But the Wildcats actually benefited to the tune of about five yards. Yeah. And uh, actually all of that, the ball will be marked at the 38-yard line in Wildcats territory. And the so, bad news is negating a touchdown. Yeah, absolutely. And so here are the Wildcats now at their own 38. We're still 14-14, 9-11 left. Boy, sure was a thing of beauty the way Austin Dodd ran that. Corey and Young back in the shotgun. We'll take the snap, and here's a handoff on a running play. Oh, a nice move by the running back across the 40, and then escorted out of bounds. That was Caden Davis, and Davis uh, moves up uh, to the uh, 40. Three-yard line, I believe. That's a gain of five. It'll be second down and five for the Wildcats at the 43-yard uh, line in their own end of the field. After uh, he he was just looking, uh, staring into the face of a defender and put a move on him and went right around him. Otherwise, that play would have gained nothing, I don't think. All right. DeCorian Young has two receivers on, out to the right, two to the left. He's got Davis uh, to his left in the backfield. He's back in the shotgun. 9.07 left here in the third quarter, and uh, we're tied 14-14. Back to uh, Young, and he throws a pass, and it is caught there by uh, Chase Haney, and Haney blasted off his feet very close uh, to the mark needed for the first down. They'll eyeball this and see what they think. It's right on uh, the mark needed. It's a look first over down. there. First down for the Wildcats. First down, Wildcats. Nice catch there by uh, Chase Haney as he took a big hit but held on to the football. First down and 10. Uh, now for the Wildcats. We'll uh, give a yeah, credit uh, yeah. after this play here. They're moving so fast, and we'll have another running play. This is uh, Davis uh, tackling the football. He moves it across the 50 to the 49. Actually up to the, look like they may give him procedure or, or to, to the 48-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. It'll be second down and seven from the Corsicana 48-yard line. And back to DeCorian Young. Here's a handoff. They'll try Davis again, sweeping. He's across the 45, and Davis will step out of bounds at the 41. That should be enough for the first down, depending on the mark. It looks good to me from here. See if the officials uh, agree. They moved it back. Well, yep. first down for the Wildcats. That's two, so Jimmy will have to say it twice here. <laughs> Silver Springs, Dodge, Crasser, Jeep, first down. 
First downs, actually. Yes. To Corey and Young. Boy, they're moving so fast, they're, they're making it difficult on uh, us to try to, to get that credit in. We'll continue to persevere here. And now to Corey and from the shotgun. Moves uh, Davis to the, his right. And will take the snap. He fakes to the running back. Looking down the field. Fires to Austin Dodd, who was wide open, and they just missed connection. Dodd would have carried that all the way into the end zone, but the pass was just uh, not on target with Austin Dodd, who had just roared into the secondary wide open. So second down and 10 now for the Wildcats at the 41-yard uh, line in Corsicana territory. Austin Dodd just can't get in the end zone. At least tonight, he's done a good job all season long. I have a feeling he will be heard from before this one's over. Trip receivers out to the right, one to the left. Landry Tyson all by his lonesome, I believe, over here. To Corey and Young. Now repositions Jermon Bryant Amos, and the Wildcats are going to call time out here. They were about out of time. 7.53 left uh, here in the third quarter. Wildcats 14, Corsicana 14. We'll take the break with them, and we'll be back in a moment. And the Wildcats uh, back in the shotgun, 7.53 left here in the third quarter, uh, second down and 10 from the 41-yard uh, line. DeCorian Young uh, back in the shotgun will take the snap, and here's a fake. DeCorian keeping to the left and gets around a defender running down the field, got a few extra yards before he's bumped out of bounds at about the 36-yard line. That's going to be five yards short of the first down. It'll be third down and five. DeCorian was lucky to get that. Again, he had a defender staring him right in the face, and he put on on a good move to gain uh, what yardage uh, he could get there. So here's a big third down and five now from the 36-yard line. Corey and Young from the shotgun. Two receivers out to the right. Receiver to the left. And a running back uh, just uh, to the uh, right of uh, DeCorey and Young now moves to the left. So we'll move Caden Davis to the left side, reposition him. And Young uh, will take the snap. Uh, gets a big rush, fires down the field, the ball's caught at the 30-yard line. Austin Dodd putting on the move, and then he drew about six defenders, or at least five. One, two, three, four, a whole uh, Baker's half dozen there of defenders against Austin Dodd, one on six. Not a fair play, but first down and ten for the Wildcats at the 30-yard line, Corsicana territory. Corey and Young from the shotgun. We'll take the snap and handoff flag flies. And here's uh, Caden Davis to the 25 to the 20 down the sideline. Davis running for all he's worth. Bumped out of bounds at the 10 yard line. But a flag uh, flew immediately. They're going to get him on procedure, I'm afraid. Illegal procedure against the Wildcats. I, was, I, I hate to say this, but I was hoping he would not score because I was afraid that would negate yet another touchdown. So an illegal procedure that'll cost the Wildcats five. So it'll be first down and 15 back at uh, the Corsicana 35-yard line. And trip receivers out to the right side, single receiver to the left. And this single receiver over here this time is uh, Damian uh, Dugan. Day-Day. And Corian Young back in the shotgun. On first down and 15 here. There's a snap. Uh, DeCorian has time. Now he's uh, going to sort of scramble. Uh, forward he goes across the 35 to the 30. Streaks down the sideline. Bumped out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. Gained a little bit. Got the penalty yards back and then about three yards more. And let's see where they'll put it down. Looks like the 26-yard uh, line. So it'll be second down and six needed from the Corsicana 26. Back to Young. Handoff. Uh, Caden Davis has a defender on his back and he it manages the 25-yard line, but he was pulling that big fellow along and only gained one. It's third down and five. Actually, no gain on the play. Third and six back at the 26-yard line for the Wildcats. He may have gained about a foot, actually, but uh, negligible. So we'll just call it third and six uh, from the 26-yard line. Big play for the Wildcats. 6.53 left in the third quarter. We're tied at 14. Wildcats in Corsicana. Corian Young back in the shotgun. We'll take the snap. Has time to throw. Sails it down the field. The ball is caught. First down. Breaking tackles. A couple of tackles. Oh, and a booming inside the 10-yard line. Was that Jermon Bryant Amos? Yes, it was. Oh, that big fella. 
Looks like he just just a runaway train there down the field. And Silver Springs Dodge Chrysler Jeep first down. And first and goal now for the Wildcats at the nine yard line. DeCorian Young takes the snap. Hand off to the running back. Hitting up in there. Gaining some good yards down to about the five yard line. Nice uh, inside running uh, for the Wildcats by a uh, Chalk Sims. I'm pretty sure Jeff Shelton and the guys down at Silver Springs Chrysler Dodge Jeep won't mind us missing one or two as long as the Wildcats come out on top tonight. Especially you keep mentioning them like that. That's, That's right. I'd <laughs> like you to keep that. Apologizing all night long. Second down and a goal to go from the Oops. five. Back to DeCorey and Young. Oh, oh and they, he had dropped the ball, picked it up, and then here came the blitz, and they knocked him off his feet back at the 12-yard line. Good thing that he held on to that football to take all of that hit. And so third down and goal now from the 12-yard line. That play kind of just uh, when the, uh, discombobulated there by the ball being uh, dropped and then picking it up, and then it's too late. He would have had to run for his life anyway. Two receivers left and right. Uh, Chalk Sims to the right of DeCorey and Young on this big third down and goal play from the 12. See if the Wildcats can throw a touchdown pass here. DeCorey and Young uh, rolling out to the left, looking. And now he's going to roll back to the right. He picks up a good screen block. He may run to Corian. And no, he wants to throw. And now he sails it. And uh, incomplete. And there's a flag because we had a... Oh, everybody down was field. downfield. Yep. Boy, the crowd was imploring him to run. They, could, they just thought he could make it all the way. He may not have seen that. Uh, it may not have looked that way to him. He uh, looked like Jermon Brian Amos was his target. But uh, a, lot of, a lot of guys downfield. And you know, it'll be fourth down and 12 after the incomplete pass. But let's see if Corsicana wants uh, to back him up the yardage and have him try uh-oh, beyond the line of scrimmage. So fourth down. And let's see, field goal time for the Wildcats. They'll try it again. They had one blocked in the first half. Well, of course, the Canada's defense really tightens up when it gets down inside that 20. Yeah, they're a, they're a tough bunch. Uh, that, they really are. I, I really was impressed. Uh, by their, their yardage and, uh, and the way they played in district play. This is a 34-yard uh, field goal attempt now by Brandon Zavala. And again, Jace Thompson is the holder. And waiting on the snap. This is a good one. The ball is down. The kick That's on the right. way, but it uh, just never uh, got off the ground. And in, uh, field goal is no good. That one just... Uh, uh, did not get uh, very high off the ground. So the Wildcats come up, uh, and, and again, th that could be one of the tougher aspects of the game, the uh, kicking game uh, on, on this wet field, trying to execute a good snap and a, a good kick on anything that's not an extra point. And that, that was a long kick, but it uh, came up short. So field goal is no good. We have uh, 4.58 left uh, here in the third quarter. And Corsicana will take over at their own 20-yard line, and they'll try a uh, run with uh, Hoffman around the left side across the 30, the 35, and he's tackled out of bounds across the 40-yard line. So Hoffman uh, rips off about a 20-yard run, uh, 22 yards actually. He's knocked uh, out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Landy Tyson, the man who made the tackle. So uh, Hoffman faked to the running back coming to the right and then kept, and uh, Boy, with that great speed that he has, power and speed. He is the real deal. Back to Hoffman. He fakes and uh, keeps, and now running in there. Wildcats um, do a good job of uh, secure tackling on him that time. After a gain of about two yards on the play, it'll be second down and eight from around the uh, the uh, 30. Well, they'll move it to the 37-yard line, so that's only a gain. That's a gain of a couple of yards. Second down and eight uh, for uh, Corsicana. They're just inside uh, their own, uh, or just outside their own 43-yard line. Oh, Corsicana huddling up. You don't see a lot of that in this day and age of uh, oh, hand off. signals in and all that, wristbands and all that kind of stuff. Again, uh, Blake. Hoffman takes it. Uh, Hoffman takes a snap and he runs and now peels off to the left. Gets around the corner. He can fly across the 40, down the 30, and uh, finally ushered out of bounds at the 26-yard line, 27-yard line. Man, that guy can fly. And he just gets around that corner and it you hold your breath. 
They'll mark it at the 26. First down for Corsicana. And they, for the first time in uh, quite some time, are mounting a drive. They scored their last touchdown with uh, just about 11 minutes uh, left in the second quarter. And there's 356 left in the third quarter right now before they're finally threatening again. We're tied at 14. 356 left in the third quarter. Running back, Nathan on the play. And he gains, uh, heads forward, runs down to about the 22, gain a four on the play. It'll be second down and six down around the 22-yard line for uh, the Corsicana Tigers. And Hoffman back in the shotgun here. And we'll take the snap. They'll try the running back again right up the middle. This one, a very effective run inside the 15-yard line, down around the 13. That'll be first and 10 for Corsicana. They have really uh, got plays that are clicking here on this drive, uh, mostly Hoffman-inspired, but uh, Nathan also chipping in. And that, that's really what they offer. You know, they, they're really their bread and butter there, Hoffman uh, and uh, Nathan. In that order, Hoffman the main threat, and Nathan a real good uh, uh, running mate there. First down and 10, Corsicana at the Wildcat 13-yard line, and now fake, and Hoffman keeps it right up the middle. He got his feet knocked out from under him down around the 11-yard uh, line. A short gain on the play, maybe about uh, three yards on the play, down around the 10. And uh, Wildcat kind of slow to get up, but they get that player up. So, call it second and eight from the 11. Fine job there by that clock operator next door. And uh, second down and eight from the 11-yard line now for, of course, Akana. After the Hoffman looked like he had something going. The Wildcats chopped him down to size with a good low tackle. And here come the Tigers. 236 left in the third quarter. We're tied at 14. Back to Hoffman. Handoff running back sweeping around the right side and uh, getting uh, inside the 10, maybe down to about the 7. That's still going to be uh, about three yards short of the first down. So down to uh, around the 7-yard uh, line. I have a hard time trying to figure things out looking at that box of 18 from the soccer field. It's just inside the box of 18, so that would be the 17-yard line. So that's three yards uh, needed now from the seven. Hoffman uh, back in the shotgun, takes the snap. He fakes. He keeps to the left. He's uh, heading around the end. Wildcats tackle him, but down around the two-yard line or so. That'll be a first down and ten for the Corsicana Tigers uh, down there just a yard or two from the goal line. Say first and goal from the two. Clock down to 140 here in the third quarter. We are tied 14 to 14. Of course, they can on the lip of the cup there. They're, they're actually just outside the one-yard line. So first down and one and, and, and change, not much. Hoffman from the shotgun. Now let's see if Nathan's going to hurdle him again. They hand off Nathan. He hits up in there, and he broke a tackle and went into the end zone for a touchdown. They rocked him pretty hard, but he went off that tackle and fought his way into the end zone from a yard out. Nathan scores his third touchdown, and he's had a ton of touchdowns this year. He's been a, a big uh, producer. Uh, he has uh, nine rushing touchdowns coming in, and he's had uh, three tonight, so he's up to 12. Hoffman, I think, has 12, also rushing. Extra point now for John uh, Carlo Perez. The snap is a perfect one. The kick on the way, and the kick is good. 115 left here in the third quarter. A new score here from Gerald Prim Stadium. Corsicana Tigers 21. The Wildcats of Sulphur Springs 14. Let's take a break here, and we'll be back in a moment. Our score here, 21 for Corsicana, 14 for the Wildcats, a minute 15 left to go in the third quarter. Roy City leads Greenville 14 to 0. Forney leads Ennis 30 to 15. Kaufman leads Terrell 23 to 7. And, and uh, Corsicana with a kickoff. Wildcats uh, 
looking for something short and here, oh, it's high and short and a fair catch call for and made there by uh, Chase Haney. And caught that ball at the 37 yard line. First down and 10 for the Wildcats in good field position. They trail now by seven, 21-14 with 115 left here in the third quarter. That was an 80 yard touchdown drive, by the way, for Corsicana. And Nathan having his third touchdown of the night, a one yard run. Wildcats two receivers out to the right, one to the left. Got the big B back in there just to the left of the quarterback up near the line, and they'll start with a running play. And the Wildcats will move it uh, up uh, right around the 40-yard line. That'll be a gain of three on the run. It'll be second down and seven. The Wildcats uh, having a hard time against this uh, Corsicana defense. They've only scored one touchdown on them tonight. They also had a long kickoff return. So second down and seven for the Wildcats at their own 40-yard line. And to Corey and Young, back in the shotgun. And two receivers out to the right, one to the left. We'll take the snap, and they'll try a fake a run pay. Here's the ball caught, and a receiver uh, moving down the field. Now breaking uh, Jermon Brian Amos going across the field and running across the field again, and finally knocked down at the 45-yard line. He's going to be short of the first down by about uh, two yards. Maybe three. Uh, so third down and uh, let's call it two and a half. A long uh, two yards. And the Wildcats at their own 45-yard line after an exciting play from one sideline to the other by Jamon Dam uh, Bryant Amos. Ball is snapped. Flags fly. Illegal procedure on the Wildcats. Boy, they have really hurt themselves with some penalties tonight on top of everything else. You cannot make uh, those kind of mistakes when you're playing a really, really good football team. That'll just cripple you. Yep. So you're third right. down and uh, now seven needed. Two seconds to go in the third quarter. Actually, the third quarter has come to a conclusion here. So three, he played three here at Gerald Prim Stadium. It's Corsicana 21 and the Wildcats of Sulphur Springs 14. We still have a, what we hope to be in a very exciting fourth quarter to come. And let's take a break right here. We'll be back uh, with the start of the fourth quarter right after this. And uh, DeCorey and Young back in the shotgun on third and seven here. The Wildcats at their own 40-yard line. This is a huge play for them as they trail by seven as we open the fourth quarter. Fake to the running back. Big rush, and DeCorey and Young is going to be sacked as uh, once again uh, uh, a little bit of trouble uh, with controlling the football. Maybe not that great of a snap. And, of course, Akana's defense is just pouring in there. And the least little hiccup, and you're in trouble. Yeah. The Wildcats survived in the first half by uh, by a little bit crisper action. But uh, without that uh, here in uh, the second half, uh, it's uh, the house is uh, crumbling. Yeah, it's pouring rain. It's making a difference. Jermon Bryant Amos is back to punt. There's a snap, and another flag goes down. This is fourth and very long, 19 yards needed. That'll back up the Wildcats five more yards before they punt it here. That'll move it all the way down to the 23-yard line. They need the uh, 47. That's 24 yards. So fourth down and 24. And Jermon Bryant Amos uh, to kick. Uh, of course, I can a return man at his own 40-yard line. And here's Amos's punt. And he booms nice. it high in the air. Corsicana will let it go, and it uh, went over the return man's head and then uh, uh, got that golfer's reverse spin on it. But the Wildcats finally brought it uh, under control at the 35-yard line, and that was a whale of a good kick. As uh, it was about, uh, I guess, 37 yards. I'm not sure I calculated that right. Uh, it was about as high as it was long. Oh, my, sure. yeah. And, it, and the receiver... Uh, put up the fair catch sign and then watched it sail over his head. But unfortunately, it got back kick on it on the back spin. And so Corsicana will take over now from uh, their own 35-yard uh, line. Last time they went 80 to take the lead. Uh, Kaufman in the backfield, and he will hand off uh, to a running back who's uh, finding rough sledding in the Wildcats. 
bring the play down for the loss. Really good defense. Again, Daniel Moreno. Back to the 33-yard line, loss of two on the play. Boy, the Wildcats just enveloped that play and just bottled everything up. But again, it wasn't Hoffman. They went again with Nathan, who's uh, been effective, but they've uh, had a better answer for him than Hoffman. Second down and 12 now for the Tigers. Back at the 33-yard line. And Blake uh, Hoffman back to pass. He sails it down the field, trying for a long one, incomplete. Yeah. Looked like Andy Eddins back there broke up the pass. Right. As, uh, of course, Acana tries a bomb. I imagine um, that's Klein. We have a penalty against Corsicana back here. Well, okay. Yeah, the coach over there, Hoffman, uh, he is not happy at all with the officiating crew. And uh, he's uh, demonstratively upset. <laughs> Holding was the call. And so the Wildcats uh, decline, so it's third down and 12. The ball back at the 33-yard uh, line. 10-22 left here in the fourth quarter. Corsicana leading 21-14. Blake Hoffman back here on third down and 12. Two receivers left and right. Takes a snap. He'll hand off, and it's a reverse back the other way, and the Wildcats had it sniffed out. out. The ball looks like it's on the ground. They may say the ball was down before the fumble. And now flag flies. Fuentes ended up with a football, and boy, a lot happened at the end of that play. Looked like a fumble. Players were scrumming in there, and then a flag came flying. Now some explanation to the Wildcats coaching staff. That may not be good. Some of their players are trying to explain what happened. Talking it over here. This could be a huge penalty on the Wildcats. Personal foul. Of course, a canna and an ejection. Wow. So somebody on Corsicana got the boot. Got a personal foul on number two, Number two has disqualified himself from the game. Number two is the Corsicana. Yes, uh, that would be receiver Gervonta Anderson. He's their leading receiver. But the Wildcats stopped the play. That's, uh, that's big news, and it should be, it should eventually be fourth down after that big loss as uh, they try. And now here's the penalty yardage uh, on that personal foul. It'll take the ball uh, all the way back. The Wildcats really have a chance for some fine field position here if they handle this punt okay. Back to the 13-yard line. And Corsicana needs to the 45. They need 32 yards, fourth and 32. The way this guy's been kicking, he'll be lucky to kick to the uh, end of the chain. <laughs> Austin Dodd actually is standing right at the end of that chain. Now he moves up a little closer. And so uh, Wildcats anticipate some really juicy field position. Dodd is in Corsicana territory at the 45-yard line, and they have not shown the booming leg of Jermon Bryant Amos. They've uh, been uh, kicking them out of there kind of low and tight, and not all that far, depending on a roll. Back to the punter now, and he rugby's to the right and gets a fairly decent kick, and this is the best of the day. Dodd is going to back, go back and field it at the 40-yard line, and now he's trying to retreat, and he breaks a tackle, and he's uh, going to be thrown for a couple of yard loss from where he started this run back. Actually, one yard, and then another big uh, pile up, and everybody gets away from it this time. The officials went in to make sure order was restored, and everybody behaved that time. They look like riot cops going in on that one. Yes, sir. They, they're there to keep this ball game under control. And, and Nine, so, 9.43 left to go in this third quarter. 21 for Corsicana, 14 for the Wildcats, and we're in the fourth quarter. Not uh, what I expected in, in terms of juicy field position because of a really good kick by that Corsicana kicker. I was kind of ragging him, and uh, he kicks the Wildcats back to the 39 in their own territory. Here's to Corey and Young. And the quarterback takes a snap, and a flag flies, and a whistle blows. My goodness, we've seen a lot of this. And illegal Another procedure. illegal procedure. Wildcats are killing themselves. 
just can almost not snap the ball without a penalty here lately. So first down and 15 back at the 34-yard line. Don't know what's going on down there. The Wildcats now first down and 15, and this wonderful field position I was talking about is now evaporated back to the Wildcats' own 34. They need uh, one of those big Austin Dodd plays right here. First down and 15 from the 34-yard line. There's a snap to Corey and Young. He hand, uh, halfback breaking through. Caden Davis, 40 to 45 across the uh, 46 or to the 46 yard line. That's three yards short of the first down. So Caden Davis making a 12 yard run to the uh, 46 yard line. Again, the Wildcats ready for a quick snap here. Back to DeCorey and Young. Here's another handoff. Davis sweeping through there. This one. Oh, the ball is down on the ground. Big scrum, big fight for it. Looks like the Wildcats got on it and actually gained some yardage, almost up to the first down yardage where they actually recovered that football. But I think they're going to move it back to the point uh, where the tackle was made. Davis injured on that play, comes off the field. And uh, they are needing two yards for the first down. Third down and two for the Wildcats. They're at their own 47-yard uh, line. And a flag, flag flies. And... Uh, coach on the field saying what they're going to get Wildcats for illegal substitution I'm not sure why because nothing had happened well uh, that's what the coach uh, was not happy about I think that's coach Metter down there and uh, I don't think he was happy at all by uh, by that uh, by that call but well so now here's third down and seven Back to the 42-yard line. That was a that was a hurt that a hurtful penalty there. When you go from third and two to third and seven, well, the Wildcats need to make a play here. They have 8:50 left in the fourth quarter, trailing 21-14. Dorian Young back in the shotgun will take the snap. Has time to throw. Fires it down the field. It is caught in stride. Broken tackle across the 40. Landry Tyson across the 30. Tyson dragging tacklers to the 20-yard line. First down and 10 for the Wildcats. And great play by Landry Tyson on that catch to take that one down. Great work. And First what a, and what a sharpshooter there uh, DeCorian Young was. Put the ball right on the money, right where Tyson needed it. First down and 10 for the Wildcats at the 20 in Corsicana Territory. Wildcats trail by seven, 824 left in the fourth quarter. Handoff Colton Allen, and he moves maybe a little bit across, right at the 20 really, no gain on the play. Maybe a half yard or something. Second down and basically 10 needed right at the 20-yard line. And Tyson picks up that Silver Springs Dodge Pass for Jeep first down. Yes, indeed. DeCorey and Young from the shotgun. And now they forego the quick snap, and they're going to kind of get organized here. Have two receivers right, one to the left, and Colton Allen in the backfield for the Wildcats. And Corian will take the snap. He's looking, and now he, he, he scrambles to the left. And now he's scrambling back to the right. He drops the football, and he reached out and grabbed it, but he lost a ton of yardage back to the 31-yard line. Oh, my. And the Wildcats have a big uh, lineman uh, helping him. He got back up. See if he can stay in. That looks like Janitis, and uh, he's going to be replaced. As, yeah, Jacob Janitis, uh, he's coming off uh, uh, under his own power, and they sent in Alfredo Ola Olavita uh, in his place. And, he, and that's a big guy for big guy. So third and 21 now for the Wildcats. They've been very good on this kind of weird play all year long, and they're going to try a reverse, and they give it off to Austin Dodd. The field's wide open, 30, 25, 20, 15. Dodd uh, finally, oh, he breaks the tackle. Dodd into the end zone, touchdown. I told you he'd get in the end zone. <laughs> 32 <laughs> yards. And Northeast Texas Farmers Co-op says, way to go, Wildcats. That one penalty free. Dodd into the end zone for a touchdown. On a reverse, as he started from the right, took the reverse handoff around the left side, and the field was wide open. And he got he got heavy resistance around the 10-yard line, managed to break through and took it all the way in. He is hard to deny when he sniffs that end zone. Here's the extra point. The ball is back. The kick on the way. The kick is good. 
6.49 left in the fourth quarter, and we have a tie game here from Gerald Prim Stadium. The Wildcats 21, Corsicana 21. Let's take a break, and we'll be back in a moment. 6.49 left to go in this game, 21-21. I'd made the statement a while ago that uh, we would probably be out early. We may now be looking at OT <laughs> overtime. Let's see what happens. Well, 6.49, still a lot of time to play here in the fourth quarter. We're tied 21-21. What a, a nice drive by the Wildcats. That went 61 yards. Yes. And again, on the, on the funky third down and about 30 play, uh, the Wildcats pull it off and score a touchdown. Here's uh, Zavala's kick. It's along the ground, kind of spinning, taken by Corsicana across. They counterpunch across the 40 up to the 43. And Corsicana will start with really juicy field position from the 43-yard uh, line after that short kick. That would have been sweet if uh, the receiver would have uh, bobbled it or something like that, but he filled it cleanly and counterpunched for probably five yards or so, maybe more. And Corsicana now with really, really good field position as we're tied 21-21, 6.44 left in the fourth quarter, and they start from their own 43-yard line. Blake Hoffman, the quarterback, back in the shotgun, takes a snap. He fakes, and now will keep, and he rips right up the middle, and he's heading to the goal line. He got tripped up, though, inside the 30 as uh, somebody made a saving tackle there for the Wildcats of Bryce McQueen, I believe. Yep. He hasn't turned yet to see the number clearly. Bryce McQueen. Number 13, yes. yes. That was uh, at the 29-yard line. I thought Hoffman was going to score on that. He was ripping and roaring. Man, that guy can fly. He is a fast football player. First down and 10 from the 29-yard line. And here he's going to keep again around the right side. Breaking tackle. He's headed to the end zone. Touchdown. No doubt about it unless there's a flag, and I don't see one. My goodness, two plays for Blake Hoffman, and he goes 57 yards uh, in two plays, and he scores on uh, the 29-yard uh, touchdown run. So Hoffman really gets to free for the first time here in the ballgame with a really big one, two big ones, back-to-back. So, of course, Akana back up 27-21. And Corsicana, no, I, I was going to say, it looked like they, the, guy, the holder was standing up. I thought he were going to go for two, but it is a kick. And here's Perez, extra point. He pooches it toward the end zone, and it kind of floated through there and floated right through the uprights. 6.14 left here in uh, the uh, fourth quarter. Uh, Corsicana 28, the Wildcats 21. Let's take a break here, and we'll be back in a moment. 6.14 hour time on the clock in this ball game. 28 for Corsicana, 21 for the Wildcats. It's the Wildcats' turn to score. Let's see if they do. Yeah, the, it's incumbent on them to try to match this uh, high-flying uh, Corsicana offense. And Corsicana now to kick off. Let's see if, if they're going to go with a straight kickoff. They've been kicking uh, high and short this Perez and now Perez approaches and he kicks it high and he kicks it short. Fair catch call for dropped. It's over there right on the sideline. A big scramble it. for it. Corsicana says they recovered. Oh my backbreaker here and Corsicana's recovered the kickoff uh, down around the uh, 27 yard line. Wildcats call for the fair catch but did not make it. And Corsicana was all over it. Oh, that stings big time. Yeah, in his arms and bounced out. And uh, then Corsicana covered it. And they are down on the 27-yard line now try to, trying to blow this out to a 14-point lead. And here come the Tigers, just uh, 27 yards from the end zone. And they just... Uh, had this defense back on their heels with uh, Hoffman. A couple of really strong runs uh, to put them ahead. So first down and 10 from the 27. Hoffman takes the snap and he'll hand off running back, sweeping to the left, getting around the corner to the 20 and dragged down at the 16-yard line. This was a new running back in there. This was a handoff to uh, Zelvin Klein. Or was it uh, Nathan? Number 21. 20, okay, Nathan. No, I'm sorry. I, I thought I saw Klein get up uh, from the football, but that was uh, Nathan again on the sweep. 
So they're running back again, and he's the only one we've seen tonight. We have not seen uh, the other running back that they use often. First down and 10 for Corsican at the 16-yard line, trying to go up by two touchdowns. Fake, and there's Hoffman right up the middle, and he'll move it down to the 10-yard line. That is a gain of six. It'll be second down and four from the 10-yard line. And now uh, un, un, uh, more unpleasantries. Oh, and again, uh, everybody separated and no yellow, no yellow flags. No harm, no foul. And so second down and four for Corsican at the Wildcat 10-yard line. 5.20 to go here in the ball game. 28 Corsican, 21 Wildcats. And here come the Tigers with this second down and four from the 10-yard line. And Hoffman takes a snap. He tried Nathan again. The flags fly. The play is blown dead with a whistle. The illegal procedure this time. Now on the Tigers. That'll cost them five. And the officials move them back to the 15-yard line. So it'll now be second down and nine with the ball back at the 15. 5.03 and the clock is counting. The Wildcats have the clock on their back here in Corsicana. Either a field goal or a touchdown or trying to add to that seven point lead. Anything like that would be, would be problematic for the Wildcats. Again, Hoffman, quarterback, takes a snap on second and nine. He fakes and keeps right up the middle. He roars and he's inside the five all the way down to about the two, the three yard line. First down and goal for Corsicana at the three. Of well, course, the Canna trying to stay undefeated, and right now it's looking pretty good for them. They still have to sweat four minutes and 28 seconds, but they're right on the lip of the cup, and they're up by seven points, 28-21. First down and goal for the Tigers at the three-yard line. Wildcats are really going to have to make a stand now. Hoffman, the quarterback, takes the snap, looking right up the middle. The Wildcats drag him down. A very little gain on that play. Maybe a yard down to the two. So a second down and goal. Greenway and Moreno on the tackle. Greenway and Moreno, the inside linebackers, getting credit for that tackle. That's uh, their job on this the play is just try to jam everything up on a play like that that went right up the middle. And so second down and goal now from the two-yard line. Meanwhile, the clock is down to 340. And Hoffman back in the shotgun. He'll take the snap. He runs straight ahead and uh, meets a lot of resistance. Wildcat threw him back. And they'll throw a flag on that. Oh, my. They throw a flag on uh, after the hit on the quarterback, and they took him back and kind of bounced him off the ground and and that drew the official's ire. Automatic first down, half the distance to the goal. But if you want to put an exclamation point on it, I just hate to see an official get right in the middle of the action of a football game. Hate to see an official's call, you know, become a central part of a football game. And he didn't yeah. really give a number on that one. He's been giving numbers. Well, it was a whole host, and Coach Owens is, is not happy at all, and he's talking to the official about that flag. It was a quick conversation. I'm sure the official said, that's my call, and it stands. So a very uh, tough call on the Wildcats. And you know, that, that's a game changer right there. That's a game changer. So second down and goal to go, the ball at the four-yard line. The Rockets uh, hit the ball carrier. The official didn't like the fact that they drove him back. And they do, every, every team does that. You see that all the time. The Corsican has done that for the Wildcats tonight. Hand off to the running back. The Wildcats stack this up. They better not push him back too far, gents. <laughs> you may get another flag. They, you can see them almost holding them up. Like, don't, don't do that. They did stop the running back there. And again, the clock is down to just over three minutes here. Second down and uh, goal to go after that automatic first down. That's another killer on that uh, call. That influenced the whole game right there. 
Here's a snap uh, back to the quarterback. Handoff Nathan sweeping the right side into the end zone. Touchdown for Corsicana. And they're up by 13 points with 2.51 left here in the football game. Yeah, that's going to be pretty tough for the Wildcats here. We've got Kaufman 31, Terrell 7 in their game. Forney 37, Ennis 29. Ennis kind of scoring again. See what happens here with this extra, extra point. point. Uh, Perez uh, will kick uh, for uh, Corsicana. The uh, ball is down. Here's a kick on the way, and that kick is good. 2.51 left uh, here in the fourth quarter. Corsicana 35, the Wildcats 21. And uh, let's uh, take a break. We'll be back in a moment. 2.51 left to go in our game here at Prim Stadium. 35 for Corsicana, 21 for the Wildcats. The Texas flag is waving. The U.S. flag is not waving. So kind of an interesting wind out there at this moment. Still a lot of moisture in the air. And kickoff for Corsicana. They lead 35-21 with just 2.51 left in the football game. The Wildcats are moving into a miracle territory here if they're going to come back. And here's another uh, short pooch kick, and this one will be taken at the 30-yard line. Uh, this is Austin Dodd trying to work his way across the field. Can, and now uh, run straight ahead. He's across the 35 down at the 36-yard line. They had him sealed off pretty good, but uh, he tried to find a seam in there to try to bust something. He was looking for something long that moved it up to the 36-yard line. And the Wildcats have two minutes and 42 seconds to go in the football game, and they're down by 14 points. Wonder, of course, the cannon will now go with maybe a three-man rush or something and really keep a lot of guys back looking for the pass. DeCorian Young. Will take the snap. He's back in the pocket. They're rushing through. Here's a screen pass. The ball is caught. And that one's going to gain maybe just a yard or two. Wildcats just have not been able to run that screen like uh, if you watch those tapes of those 08 games. Of course, those guys were pretty darn good, that state bunch. The gain of uh, one on the play, second down and nine. But I don't care who's come along since then. That's been a hard play to work. Yeah. Second down and nine now. 2.14 left in the football game. DeCorian Young back to pass. He's flushed out of the pocket, looking down the field. Now circling back, looking way down the field. He'll fire it to way down the field, and it's caught at the 40-yard line. The 35 to the 30, and across the 25 to the 20. This is Chase Haney all the way down to the uh, inside the 10 to the 5-yard line. Yeah, Chase Haney, that's a Silver Springs Dodge pass for Chief first down. Boy, Chase ran a great pattern down there to get open, and DeCorian Young found him as he had a lot of time back there. First down and goal from the five-yard line with 152 left in the game. DeCorian Young back to pass. He's scrambling, rolling to his left, and now we'll... Uh, I think just, uh, did he throw the ball out yeah. of bounds? No, it was he, hard for me to see that far on in the darkness over there. He wasn't out when he threw it. He threw it. It bounced into the end zone. So uh, just uh, just throwing that one away to, to try to bring it back to the five-yard line because he was out, out there about 10 yards behind the line of scrimmage. Second down and five from the five, 142 left here in the uh, fourth quarter. If the Wildcats can get in here fairly quickly, then uh, they can and try the old onside kick and see if the miracle can continue here. Stranger things have happened. Yep. Corian Young back in the shotgun, empty backfield. They'll take the snap. It's a low snap, and the flag flies again. And the Lay a game. But once again, the Wildcats bit by one of those... Uh, one of those uh, penalties uh, before the ball can even be snapped there. So it'll be second down and a goal to go now from uh, ball back around the 10-yard line. 141 left in our football game. The Wildcats down by 14 points. So second down and goal now for the Wildcats. Corey and Young takes the snap. He's looking. He fires the ball toward the end zone, has a player over there, let him out of bounds, uh, throwing for, I believe that was Bryce McQueen, yep. and let him out of bounds and uh, uh, incomplete. So third down and goal now from uh, the 11-yard line. Third down and goal. 
And 134 left uh, here in the fourth quarter. Again, Corsicana 35, the Wildcats 21. Thought Chase Haney might have a chance to score on that yep. play, but Corsicana caught it up with him just uh, down at the five yard line. And now the Wildcats are back at the 10. Corian takes a low snap and he will fake to the running back, rolling to the left. Now throwing back to the right, throwing toward Jamon Bryant Amos. He tried to jump up and get it. Contested by a Corsicana defender. Wildcats fans want pass interference, and they're not going to get that. So fourth down now. And uh, back at the 10-yard line. 126 left here in the uh, fourth quarter. Well, so well, it's a good idea. Jermon Bryant Amos, a big tall basketball player. Program has him listed at 6'5, and Coach Owens couldn't believe they put that in there. And now a timeout taken uh, for the Wildcats. Corsicana. Corsicana, that's a, a timeout for them. 126 left here in the fourth quarter. Corsicana 35, the Wildcats 21. And let's take a break here and we'll be back in a moment. 126 to go here in the fourth quarter. 35 for Corsicana, 21 for the Cats. Don't forget the coaches show tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. on KSST and Channel 18. And here we go, fourth down uh, from the 10-yard line. Fourth and goal to go from the 10. Wildcats have trip receivers to the right. Now Austin Dodd heading to the left side. Snap back to DeCorian Young, and he's going to fire toward the end zone. The ball is caught for a touchdown. Uh, Bryce McQueen running an out pattern and uh, making a nice catch for the Wildcats to make it an eight-point football game at 35-27. Northeast Texas Farmers Co-op says way to go Wildcats as the Cats pull back. We'll see what happens on this. Yeah, extra point try now for uh, Brandon Zavala. And we'll probably see an onside kick after that, but first things first, let's get this. There's a snap, the ball is down. Zavala's kick is on the way, looks good, and the kick is good. 122 left here in the fourth quarter. New score here from Gerald Prim Stadium. Corsicana 35, the Wildcats 28. Let's take a break here and we'll be back in a moment. 122 left to go in our game. The Wildcats have just scored. It's 35 for Corsicana, 28 for the Wildcats. And we'll see what happens here. Yeah, let's see if all that uh, work uh, that the Wildcats have done uh, throughout, you know, from who knows where, probably back to uh, spring football. On the onside kick, and let's see if they can execute it here. Brandon Zavala will kick it. They've got people like Landry Tyson in there, Austin Dodd, Jace Thompson. And Zavala approaches, and here's the onside kick, and it's down the field, taken by Corsicana, and the Wildcats will tackle that player at the 58-yard line. Now a lot of pushing and shoving going on. But the officials move in and pretty well separate everybody and didn't feel like anybody was, uh, had done enough to uh, deserve any kind of flag. So first down and 10 for Corsicana at uh, their own 48-yard uh, line. We have 119 uh, left in the football game. The Wildcats have two timeouts left. Actually, both teams have the two timeouts left. So let's see if uh, Corsicana can make a big blunder here. That's... Otherwise, it's going to be hard for the Wildcats to stop them here. Blake Hoffman, back in the shotgun, takes a snap. Handoff running back, uh, Nathan, to the right. You can bet the Wildcats are tackling the football. A loss on the play. Running back stopped back at, uh, oh, maybe a yard loss on the play. Second down, and, uh, and the Wildcats take a timeout with 113 left. It's uh, second down and uh, about 11. And 113 left in the fourth quarter. Wildcats trail Corsicana 35-28. We'll take a break back in a moment. 113 to go in our game. And Corsicana on second down and 11 now. The ball at the 47-yard uh, line. And now Hoffman will uh, fake and keep around the right side. Breaks tackles into the secondary. First down and more. Heading to the end zone. He'll score. Blake Hoffman will run 54 yards for a touchdown. And that uh, will just about cement this one. If there was any doubt uh, before that, a 54-yard TD run for Blake Hoffman. Kind of puts the cherry on top. Yeah, nice run. Good blocking. That Corsicana line's done an excellent job blocking for their runners tonight. 
And once again, Hoffman just too much to overcome. Can you imagine what they'd be like if he just kept the ball all the time? Well, but he hands off sometime, and that that's a good thing for most opponents, even as good as our backs are. The kick is good on the extra point. 102 left to go here in the fourth quarter. It's now Corsicana 42 and the Wildcats uh, 28. And we'll take a break here and be back in a moment. 102 left to go in our game. 42 for Corsicana, 28 for the Wildcats here at Prim Stadium on a soggy night. Looks like a little fog kind of moving around. Yeah, it's uh, kind of that, you know, almost that Halloweenish uh, look to it. About 20 seconds uh, was all that uh, Corsicana required to answer the Wildcats touchdown. 20 seconds after the Wildcats scored, Hoffman goes 54. That was another two-play drive. And here's the kick uh, around, along the ground. It's uh, Wildcats will just fall on it after muffing it a little bit there. And so from the 33-yard line for the Wildcats, with just one minute left in the football game. And, well, the Wildcats trailing 42-28. Pretty uh, obvious, uh, unless uh, some something supernatural hand, uh, happens here, the Wildcats are going to lose their first football game of the year. And Corsicana will remain unbeaten in district play. They lost their very first game of the year, and they've won seven since then. Back to DeCorian Young. He's back in the pocket. He fires the ball down the field. It's caught uh, for a first down. Player gets out of bounds. So Landry Tyson over there. And a Silver Springs Dodge Pass for team first down. The ball is at the 44-yard uh, line in uh, Wildcat territory. Stopped the clock with 52 seconds on the completion. But the Wildcats down by 14 points. They'll need to score very quickly here and then again try an onside kick and then score very quickly again. That's all a simple ABC, right? <laughs> DeCorian Young back in the shotgun takes the snap. He bobbled it a little bit. He's uh, racing out of the pocket, rolling, uh, and now fires the ball down the field and incomplete. Just sailed it out of bounds, intended it in the general direction of Jace Thompson, but also thrown away from uh, the Corsicana defender who was uh, Tyvon Holt. So second down and 10, just 44 seconds left on the clock now for the Wildcats. And again, they're on their own 44-yard line. DeCorian Young again from the shotgun. And a snap, another kind of low one. And this is a draw play, and the, the back is dropped for a short gain on the play. The Wildcats looking for some deception. Caden Davis was the runner. And we're down to uh, where well, we're stopped at 37 seconds here. And a timeout taken by Sulphur Springs. 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Corsicana 42, Wildcats 28. We'll take a break with them, and we'll be back in a moment. And uh, last 37 seconds of the ball game now. Wildcats trailing 42-28. Snap back to DeCorian Young. He fires a pass incomplete, almost intercepted. It went off of a couple of different uh, players for uh, Corsicana, so incomplete. And it's going to be fourth down now and 13 yards needed. And the Wildcats uh, at their own 41-yard line. They've got to get inside Corsicana territory down to the 46. Just 33 seconds left. There are so many ways to say that this game is just about over. And Corian Young trying for one more heroic play here. Big rush by Corsicana. He scrambles back. And now rolling out to the left and looking well down the field, he fires a pass. It's caught. Landry Tyson. Tyson trying to make something happen with 21 seconds. He's trying to make a big play across the 35. Tyson to the 30. And now he will run out of bounds at the 20, and he got busted out of bounds. Man, where's the flag there? He clearly got busted out of bounds. And Silver Spring Chrysler Jeep Dodge first down. So first down and 10 for the Wildcats. There's still 11 seconds left in the football game. The Wildcats, they are not going to go down easy here. Landry Tyson, he, from the get-go, he was going to make a big play, and he did. He gained a lot of yardage and then got busted out of bounds with, uh, with no uh, consequences. They've got to hurry. 
Yeah, there are three seconds. They need to snap that thing back to DeCorian Young. He's looking down the field. He fires a pass. It's caught. No, it's nope. dropped. Uh, they threw it in the direction of Jermon Bryant Amos, and he could not latch on there. Still 007 left uh, here in the fourth quarter. Something's supposed to happen. And uh, Wildcats trailing 42-28. will be second down and 10 from the 20-yard line as they try for one of these uh, cosmetic uh, touchdowns. In a, unless uh, there's a few, well, even then, you know, unless you return the onside kick for a touchdown, I don't know how you do that. Back to DeCorian Young. He's looking, looking down the field, now flushed out of the pocket. He's being chased by some big fellows, and uh, he sails it uh, out of bounds, and that's the triple zeros. And Coach Hoffman over there was uh, dancing a jig along the sideline at the end of this one. He was quite proud to get this one in the victory column. As, uh, Corsicana has moved out first, and Coach Owens uh, heading right for Coach Hoffman. Those guys uh, get along quite well, and after they played in that uh, unbelievable, well, no, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. After, after uh, Corsicana and the Wildcats played in the playoffs, they, they enjoyed dealing with the, each other so much that uh, when the next year came along and uh, Corsicana really needed an opponent, uh, Greg Owens jumped on board and scheduled them home and away. And it was that away game that ended up 77-65. And the coach of that night was uh, uh, Coach Steve Hoffman. So he knows how the Wildcats can score. But tonight, uh, of course, Kenna got the better of it. And uh, just a, you know, a real critical turnover on a, a kickoff and, and a very you know, an unfortunate official's call that's going to make the man in the white hat an issue in the football game, which that should never happen. But uh, when all is said and done, Corsicana gets out of here with a 42-28 uh, win, and they celebrate. They go 7-1 uh, and one on the season, and now 6-0 and oh in uh, conference, or not conference, but uh, district play. And the Wildcats will now go 5-1 and one for the season, and they'll go 4-1 and one in district play. And for the Wildcats now, they'll need to regroup, and uh, they're going to have kind of a grudge match coming up against uh, an old foe that uh, does not like the Wildcats very much, and that's the Greenville Lions. As we talked about the last time they played, they had to do away with the handshake line because uh, players on both sides were so mad at each other, they were afraid that they would get into a huge brawl if uh, they were to get anywhere near each other. So uh, the Greenville coaches took their players immediately to the locker room. We criticized them at the time, but the more we heard about it, it sounded like perhaps a, a better thing to do than to have players that are just uh, mad out of their head uh, getting within anywhere near each other. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, the Wildcats lose this one to Corsicana. It was a good football game for a long time, and then it kind of fell apart for the Wildcats. Uh, especially in the fourth quarter as uh, Corsicana goes uh, to victory here by the score of 42 to 28. Uh, let's turn it over to Jimmy Rogers to wrap it up and uh, we'll head, head home. And we'll uh, update you on some scores from around the district. A final 40-44, Ennis 29, that game played at 40. And Kaufman defeats Terrell 31 to seven. The uh, Greenville Roy City game, Roy City 31, Greenville 14. That one almost completed there. Don't forget 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, coaches show simulcast on KSST and Channel 18. Uh, I'm sure Don and Coach Owens will have a good conversation about this game tonight. And then uh, coming up at 10 o'clock tomorrow, of course the. Uh, Fall Festival Parade will be broadcasting that for you as well. Next week, we'll be in Ennis. If you can't make the trip, join us here on KSST. We're delighted that you've been with us. For Don Julian, who's done play-by-play, -play, Doug Haston, who videoed this game for replay on, K on cable channel 18. I'm Jim Rogers. Thank you, Matt Jansen, for your good work back at the office tonight. And to everyone, we say good night. <laughs>